Okay, Steam Controller. I've... I've been kind of avoiding making this video. Uh, why? Why? Because I wanted to use this little bastard for a little while. I didn't want to just give an uninformed opinion. I didn't want to just toss something out there like, Oh, hey, look, here's the box. That's... I care about this thing and what it can do. So I wanted to, you know, field test it. I will tell you right away, my first impression was not very favorable. I probably struggled for a good... Four, four hours, maybe, of playing? I mean, I'm old enough to remember, you know, the first time I used dual analog. Like, I remember a time before dual analog. It's kind of like that. You know, I was over-aiming, I was under-aiming, I was all over the place, running in circles. I was frustrated. But, you know, as I've used it more, I'm getting a lot better at it. Um, build quality. I mean, it's it feels, it feels decent. There. You can see it, yes, it uses two AA batteries, which I actually prefer. I don't know what the big deal is. People want uh, battery packs. Battery packs will die. Batteries you can change and you can get rechargeables. But yeah, it's kind of neat the way it comes off like that. You can see that little switch there and just pop that off. And then those are the, uh, the paddles. They actually, they work pretty well. So okay, we got that. Um, I've also seen some people complaining about how it's angled like that. Uh, it's, I think it's just to keep, you know, to angle your thumbs down onto those track pads. Dual analog, your thumbs are up higher. With this, they gotta be kind of curved down. But anyways, okay, so that blah blah blah. Another interesting thing is if you go to this, this is the, this is the uh, gyro accelerometer, which is which is incredibly accurate, way more accurate than I thought. Like, to the point that I would... I will implement it into first-person shooters. I'm very impressed with it. And you can have that be... a directional pad, which I try... I, I, I was struggling having that work. It seems to work best when it's, uh... like joystick move or camera, at least, or mouse, you know, so you can... What else can we tweak, though? You can tweak the haptic intensity. Well, let's just go through. Let me show you all the options here. You can have it be direction, button, mouse, mouse, joystick, which is a... That's... That would be for a game that can't uh, separate between a controller and a mouse, which actually does happen. Uh, for instance, like Metal Gear Solid V, I was having trouble trying to use a mouse emulation with the rest of it being set up like a controller. It just, it, this was dead. It wouldn't work. I had to put it down to the joystick, which sucks ass. It just, it, don't, you don't use a joystick unless you're playing something like really simple that you don't need any, like maybe like a twin stick shooter. It, you could use it like that, but if you try to play... A third-person shooter or a first-person shooter, anything that requires, you know, finesse, the joystick emulation is not going to work for you. You're going to want it to be the mouse. But you can uh, adjust the acceleration, have trackball, which I recommend, so that would let you swipe and it'll keep moving like a trackball. So, you know, maybe those people that love their trackballs... I didn't, it's like a cult. Maybe those those people were onto something because it, it works pretty well. Uh, and what's interesting too is that you can add shift modifiers. So that would be like I did a Daisy profile, and in that I had modified the. This was like inventory. When well, you can see, yeah, sweaty sweaty thumbs. That's gross. But you can see like. Uh, you know, it's a D-pad, so I had a couple basic functions, but then if you held the bumper, it would bring up a whole different set of stuff. So you can do that for some of the buttons, not all of them, which kind of drives me crazy too. I want to be able to do that for everything. I think right now you could only do it for maybe bump... No, not even bumper. I think just the triggers and the haptic pads? 
but I want to be able to do like taps and holds and modifiers for everything like this is one thing hold that boom that becomes something else I can't do that right now so it's a little limited but still incredibly impressive how much they let us do so anyways it's a whole lot of rambling bullshit all right yeah so let me let me show you this in a couple different types of games just so you can get an idea and then you know, maybe you can start to see the uh, the possibilities of this. Um, I'm not going to show DayZ since I've already put two videos up on DayZ. But if you want to see it working there, I mean, I, you know, that's up there. I it's working, it's working pretty well. But let me show you. Let's go just an old traditional shooter. Let's go Half Life Two, and I'll show you it working there. All right. So you can see. I mean, I can. Move, I can aim, look around very quickly. Minor lacerations detected. Let's get out of the damn tunnel. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Okay, but really, all I wanted to show, too, was, uh, so you can see I can, you know, make very fast adjustments. And then if I hold in, look at that. I can make very subtle, oh, oh, oh. I'm telling you, man, the motion stuff, it works really well. It's very impressive. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty damn cool. This is Lemma, which I know I know it's probably not it's not a big major game, but this is one that I found works really well with the controller because I tried to play this with the controller before and kind of struggled cuz it it's, you know, it's platforming parkour, so you had to be able to move around quickly, which I couldn't get working very well with the controller. So here you can see I have, it's like track trackball mode, but when I go to the edge, the edges you can adjust too. And there's also um, the haptic feedback, which I haven't really mentioned yet. That's going to help you, you know, you can kind of feel it on your thumb. Let's do a nice little wall run slide here. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, it's, that's so cool. What a fun game. So yeah, I mean, that's... You know, this is, like I said before, like not a super popular, well-known game, but a perfect example of something that I feel like the controller made it way more playable. All right, and then this, you know, another, another atypical example. That's that's just how I am. I'm not, I'm not going to show you all the basic basic games that you see everywhere. But for this one, I wanted to show just a drive, just driving around, um, and I made. The click be the motion, so I hold that in. Yeah, and you can see where it works. We're able to steer, drive around. Yeah, it works. Works pretty good. I mean, it doesn't feel as strange as you would think, since you're so used to having two sticks and one of them's not a stick. It works pretty well. So yeah, okay, so that's, uh, you know, driving around and uh, some dual stick things, which also uh, I did a video on Noct, which is a top-down shooter. That would just be another example. Uh, I was playing that with this controller and, you know, it's, it's set up like a kind of like a twin stick shooter, but I was just using, you know, this as the joystick, which it felt fine for that. Final thoughts? Uh, I'm... I'm pleasantly surprised. At first, I was very excited for this. Got it. Was a little frustrated, just because it's... It's different. Give yourself some time. It is different. It... Maybe, you know, I'm a stubborn old bastard, so it took me a little while to get used to it. But once you get over that hurdle, it feels way, way more accurate than any other controller I've used, and I prefer using controllers. I just, I don't really like using a mouse and keyboard. I always go for a controller, and this feels like the best solution 
for using a controller. I will use this in pretty much every game I play now. Uh, the only thing that is a little fussy is, is that you need to be in big picture mode to edit these controller mappings. Now, you can edit the mapping, save it, and then exit big picture mode, and when you launch the game, it will register that, except if you do something fancy like that touch menu like I had in uh, DayZ, that won't work unless you're in big picture mode, which kind of sucks because I really don't like big picture mode, but that's a small price to pay. And then, you know, obviously, since I'm mentioning that, uh, yes, to use it, in a game that's not in Steam, you're going to have to add that game into Steam. You'll, which you can do, you can add games that aren't in Steam into your Steam library. Once you do that, you'll be able to edit a controller profile for it. Uh, now this does function outside of Steam. Um, actually, like this, you can see what I'm looking at right here. The, the desktop configuration, that will work as long as Steam is running but you don't have to be in Steam. Like, you can browse, you know, Google Chrome. You could you could use that for some other game, but you're, you're only going to have one profile for that. So it does function outside of the Steam environment. You're just still going to have to have Steam running in the background. So I think that probably covers it. Kind of a... Uh, Kind of a long, rambly video, which I knew I was getting into, but I wanted to take some time away from it. I wanted to use it. I didn't want to just put up first impression video, you know, which isn't really helpful to you if you're trying to figure out if you want this. So who do I think this is for? I actually don't think this is for who they seem to be aiming it for, like casual folks who just want to play on a couch I mean, maybe, but you're going to have to depend on folks like me who are kind of digging into it and making profiles for all these games, because that's really where it, that's where it shines to me, is once, once you get in here and tweak all this stuff to where you want it, that, like, you got to get dig in there. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see it working very well for people who just don't want to fuss around at all. So, you know, I think a lot of folks are going to try it, maybe try it in a store or something, you know, try it at a friend's house. They're going to hate it because you have to really dig into it and figure out all this stuff. What the hell is all this shit? You know, figure out what works for you. Like I had to fuss around with the, the radiuses and dead zones, you know, tweaking it to all, you know, to where I wanted it. And then all of a sudden, oh, wow, this is really great. So... If you're a controller enthusiast, you're gonna love it. And uh, but yeah, I'm 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 a big fan. I will absolutely be playing everything with this. Like I will, I will figure out a way to play Battlefront with this because that's gonna be freaking awesome. Like I'm, I'm really excited for that. Like that'll be great. So I'll you know have to import Battlefront into my Steam library just so I can get a, a profile working for it. But yeah, that's that'll be cool. Yeah, that that covers pretty much all I can ramble on. I suppose I could just keep on talking forever, but eh, you probably stopped listening a long time ago, or you're scrubbing the timeline, or you're asking some question in the comments that I answered in the video because nobody watches the goddamn videos. Ah, you people with your short attention spans. Grumble, 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 old man. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's, it's nearly perfect. Just... They, they can make it perfect through software, as really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. If they let me do taps and holds on all the buttons, shift modifiers on all the buttons, this thing's going to be astounding. I mean, it already has, you know, extra buttons down there, which are incredibly useful. I've, when I was first getting used to it, I mean, I was actually pushing these in lieu of the trigger just because it felt so... It felt so comfortable to squeeze it. I couldn't believe it. So yeah, that's that's the Steam controller. Overview, review, extensive demo, whatever the hell you want to call this video. Uh, but there it is. That's all I got. All right.
I will see you around. Oh! Arma 3 with a controller. This might take a little bit of time. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit. Red. The color of my car. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> the little lame is there. Oh, I suck. You suck so bad, you should be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know. Shut up.